Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where we need to pick up this. Eh, um We need yes, we're gonna go. We have we have it selected already. We're gonna go in a circle. We need to go find Admiral Kobe. But if you don't know we don't know that's what we're doing. Shepard technically doesn't know. We just know that there's Cerberus doing terrible things out here. I think this is the Kaoku one. It could be a different Cerberus operation. Hmm, what a mysterious organization. Actually, they already, yeah, they already, they already did that. I don't know why I did that, but I felt like firing that off at the moon. Um, Kaoku already said that Cerberus used to be an Alliance Black Ops organization, and it is no longer. It's gone rogue. Electronics is too low. Probably. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even say electronics. The other ones are like decryption. Easy or moderate or whatever. Research facility. Come on. That moon <coughs> looks like. Why is it not? It used to be you could like look at far away objects and it would actually it would not have a blur. Why is it doing a blur? I noticed that before with the freaking turrets. Like why is it all of a sudden changing the like FOV? You know? Or depth, whatever it is. I don't. Know. I think FOV. I think FOV contributes to it, but. No, no. I just love throwing myself off of cliffs. Not in real life, kids. Hey, look. Why? Why are you? It like did it for a second. It was like, oh, okay, we'll focus on it. And now it is not. Why is? It, why? I don't. I've never had this problem before. Oh hi ho. that. Hang on, let's go check the anomaly. Monopoly. This isn't the system where there are like suspicious ships flying around, right? Is this the one with the teddy bear at the top? I don't think this is the one. Maybe it is the one. No, it's not. There's one of these that has like a children's teddy bear at the top and it's like, oh. Like you can't see it. It's in the inside. It's like in like a time capsule type thing. Oh, it is! There are a few children's toys and some ragged clothes inside the top of this monument along with the Prothean data disc. Which I'm just like, I'm like, what? Is it sad? Is it, is it bad? Is it okay? Like, was like a kid like trying to live here? Or was it like somebody's like memory of their child? Like, I don't know. It makes me sad. Whatever it is, it makes me sad. Yeah. Indestructible. Get in there and save. Save. <sighs> this room is suspiciously open. Ah, uh, oh, a bunch of soul rivals. Come on out, we all good? Okay. There we go. There's the, there's the big, I think they're boys. Big boys. I think they're, those, the humans are freaking ready for me. If only I could actually stealth up on them. Who are you? 
are you? Oh my gosh, hang on. Is the... She's nearly dead. Where did she go? Hayden's in the same color as them. I can't. I can't flick shot or any, I can't do anything actually. What are these people doing? Like I can't tell. Um no, 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 no. Stop. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. It wouldn't let me fire for a second. This is my kind of mission. <laughs> he says that a lot. I'm, I'm just glad I can Let's get make him happy, you know. Aid. Yeah. Will it give me multiples? It would have. If I had used the second one. It's okay. Usually, usually in these diagnostic stations too, like at least in these ones, they're like medical bays, kind of, I think, like portable medical bays, and you get a lot of uh, freaking Phoenix armor out of them. There's like a mission series in particular, where it's just like, I thought it was this one, but maybe it's not, but you just get a bunch, and it's like, why are you giving me so many pink and white armors? Oh, it's funny. I should look up uh, where to get Quarian armor. Like, Krogan armor we get. Like, it takes a while, but, but Quarian armor is really hard to come by. Oh. Is it this one? I think so. I think we went up here and then we went to there. Stuck. You can't even jump? That's unheard of. What? What? <laughs> I was like, why? That's never happened to me before in my life. The Mako's like indestructible. I've never had her get caught. That was even flat terrain. It wasn't like I stuck her in a weird spot. Oh, look. Mineral. At the very top of the mountain. I didn't think we were gonna get out, but somehow it usually doesn't work when you're trying to wiggle out and you're like glitched in somewhere. Trying to wiggle out doesn't work, but we did this time. By golly, which is why I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life because it worked one time out of a hundred. Mmm, Venus, except less crushing. You can basically stop on the side of a cliff. It's amazing. This ship is like uh, this vehicle is like Spider Woman. Ooh, okay, <laughs> turn true. I like like flipped us on the way out. I was like, what? 
Oh no. Ooh, a rare element. You're telling me uranium is rare in this galaxy? That's some BS. Where I've been hanging out a lot when I'm not at my sister's place for the next two days. Um, in southern Utah, an area called like, the San Rafael Swell and like the surrounding area for quite a while actually uh, got kind of put on the map as, like for like, you know, Europeans, as a um, uranium mining opportunity. Even though it's got like super freaking amazing like geology and uh, geology, and so, like obviously the geology is tied in with that. But, um, no, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. The swell is an area that definitely needs to be made into some sort of park or monument. Woo! To keep it protected. Because now the uranium mining's all done, right? Like, they, it was like this impossible place to get into, right? Until, that's what you got, and you're out, and like, I don't know how it is out east, like out in the U United States, like east or anywhere else in the world, but out west, if you're in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden you find these really nice roads, it's because there's like some sort of mining or infrastructure back there. They don't do it if there's like cool science or anything. They only do it if they can like make a profit off of it. Huh. Alas. Oh, I don't know where I'm going Spectre training. No, I'm gonna put them in the Vanguard. Yeah, let's just get my Vanguard because it increases the biotic resistance, which is good. I'm not too worried about warp. I'd rather do lift or throw. It increases radius. So that's how we increase the radius. Oh, I should put it into the shotguns too. I should put some of this back to training, but hey. I did get barrier up pretty good, so that's good. Okay, then uh, electronics. Rigs. Make him nigh unkillable. Just focus on combat armor and fitness. Oh boy. I was like, wait, where are we? What are we doing? It was one of these rooms that I learned last time I played Insanity, that for some of these, where they just rush you, it's best to just use this corridor and back up into that room. There they are. I don't even think I have any... Uh, yeah, I don't even have any grenades yet. But, but these are creepers. Um, so, not husks, they're creepers. So... And there's somebody on the floor. No, go, go, I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Here it is, I knew it was one of these had like, look at this, here we go, <laughs> see? Everybody's gonna get, everybody's gonna get some pink armor here. I don't wanna open that yet. I don't mind me, I'm just hacking all your stuff. Oh, actually, we might. Can what's his name? Is it there? This one? Sure. What's his name? My Mass Effect One lover. There's another one. They're everywhere. Ow! It got. Oh, I got out of the way of that. Please just 
stand there, I appreciate it. These technicians are real bold, I just gotta say. This one with all these dang damn medical boxes tur tur so much so many don't worry I'll get to you I'll get to you I don't know if damaging them does anything <laughs> oh my gosh Did I see one for a Krogan? Uh, and now we're off. Bye. Just kidding. Oh my god. Just hiding there? No, please. Now. Now. I gotta be more. You gotta be more careful. Oh, unfortunate. Achievement. Oh, we won't mm, check hope yet. Man, they couldn't even just like kill him, like honorably, you know? They had to like throw him in with some monsters unarmed. We owe Kahoku that much. Think we're good, Commander. He's dead, despite the ferocity of the creatures. He was still in with. There are no signs of trauma on his cord corpse. The needle marks on his arm are just a different means of execution. That's right. So he was killed and then thrown in there, but they didn't eat him? I don't know. That doesn't really make any sense. Damn. It's the Admiral. I guess Cerberus found him after all. I think that was all of That's all the... Oh, okay. Cerberus has been conducting a genetic research and effort to create an unstoppable army. He found Kohoku dead in one of their bases. Now you're the only one who can stop him. Actually, I'm pretty sure I could report them to the Alliance, and the Alliance can do something too. But no, it's fine. <laughs> it's uh, RPG syndrome. Uh, per, per, was the protagonist syndrome? Um, investigate the samples. Oh yeah. That's another one with the creepers. They get out. Okay, let's look at armor. Oh, I don't think. Uh, I don't think. I don't. <laughs> I don't think the pink armor is gonna help us for our current. Well, nope. And I don't. Oh, he did. That's not not as good. Uh, poor Tally, I think this is one of the only times you can get Corian armor. I swear there was some place you could buy it in Novaria, but I think you have to get there, like, a certain point. I think we're at, I think we're pretty good to go. I think you have to be, like, a high enough level. Do I gotta be, like, not like a high, like, my personal level. You Like, the, basically the armor stuff that we can unlock. Like, right now I'm getting, like, sevens, like, fives and sixes and sevens. Is that everything I wanted to do here? I think it might 
I might have to be up to tens, but I don't know. I'd have to check. And I keep ready to do it when I'm not playing the game actively. Turning a sorry protein. Oh. <gasps> the rug VI. Oh my gosh, you guys ready to go to the moon? Let's go to the moon. Head to the soul system in the local cluster. We get to go home! I actually, when I first played this, and I was like, <gasps> I don't think it's unlocked immediately, but like once you do get the local, I think it's only when the when Avril, uh packet gives them to you, gives you the mission that you can unlock it, and I'm like, whoa! Also, I like that we, it's not, it's not just like, you know, the solar system, we call it, like it has a name now, because we can't just like focus everything on us, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like in the whole galaxy. Uh, like, I don't know, you can't just, like, name it. It is the solar system. Look at it! Wow! It's just like what you see as a kid! <laughs> I don't know. I think it's cool. Like, this looks like it's just out of a textbook, but it's in a video game. Anyway, you can click on all of them. Mars, peak of eternal light, the difficulties imposed by proximity to the sun, have, and high orbital velocity have, full, have limited development, but there's people on there. There's people on Mars. There's 340 people on Mars. Uh, yeah. It has 800 people. It has only a handful of Aerostat research outposts. I don't know if the population technically counts uh, people only on the planet or if it counts uh, like orbital stations. Because uh, I think some of them have orbital stations. Anyway, here's Earth! <laughs> Blue detailed information. Please refer to energy street lines like a codex. Earth orbit is brittle with debris generated by bootstrap space development. Use of kinetic barriers is recommended at altitudes over 85 kilometers. <sighs> and freaking Jeff Bezos wants to like take all, like currently wants to take all our garbage and put it into space. Like, let's take all our means of production and put it into space. So that way the Earth can remain a beautiful jewel. I'm like, shut up. Have you never, have you never watched a single sci-fi show in your life? <laughs> like, have you never, are you a moron? <laughs> You can't just, it's just not how it works. Like, polluting space is not the answer to our problems. Anyway. As, this, was, this, was, this was the thing, right, uh, that I was talking about. Like, we've named, like, in this we would have renamed a couple different things. And the moon, as we call it, has been switched to Luna in, like, the galactic maps. And it's helium-3, it's mined for materials using space hazard construction. It's mined. Two dozen major stations have been constructed at Earth's L4 and L5 Lagrange points. The classic, the sci-fi classic. Oh, lunar resources. And we look, Mars. Mars. Oh, you get to go here in Mass Effect 3, right? Ugh, that's a brutal, brutal game. Once considered a part of terraforming causation, discovery of faster than like travel turned Mars into a quiet backwater. The southern pole, oh, the population's pretty, pretty good. 3.4 million. Uh, the southern pole's historical preserves centered on the Prothean ruins. Immigration and development are restricted as such for Prothean artifacts continues. Heck yeah, good. Uh, I'm itching my ankle right now. So I might be far away from the mic, but I have bug bite on my ankle that is screaming at me. The largest outpost is Binary Helix Corporation's Nautilus facility. Attached to the underside of Europa's ice sheet. Come on, we can do like deep, deep well gravity, lethal radiation, to kept its moves from being significantly exploited. The moons, freaking Jupiter, are the ones that everyone's like, oh, let's do stuff with that, like currently. Saturn has been a major source of helium-3 and uses a hostile environment training facility for the Alliance Marines. Yep. Uranus. Like, we all know these planets, right? But it's, like, fun to see what they've, what they've become in, like, the future, like, the Mass Effect future. After the development of Mass Effect FTL drive, yes, Uranus was the target of a land rush to exploit its combination of plentiful helium-3 and shallow for a gas giant gravity well. Today, Uranus is the largest producer of helium-3 in the Alliance space. Capital. It's got a freaking capital. It's amazing. Neptune. 
Neptune, like Uranus, is plentiful helium. Its remoteness made it an unpromising target for mining before the development of the Mass Effect drive, with Uranus cheaper to exploit. That is never seen a sense of development. The only permanent human presence is a small research facility on Triton. Yeah, so the population of Triton is 70. Nobody's living on Neptune itself. Honestly, I think Uranus is probably the prettiest planet in our solar system. It's really beautiful. It's a lovely turquoise color. And those, like, upright rings, right? At least according to our perspective. Pluto is one of Sol's numerous ice dwarf worlds. It's mainly an overbeat the gravitational anchor for the Perithian mass relay. By the way, this game was made when Pluto was still a planet. <laughs> Rip Pluto, am I right? Pluto and the Charon relay, formerly encased in ice and considered a moon, orbit each other. That's how, that's how, that's 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 how they hit it, right? But how they handle these mass effect relays, right? And then this is how humanity discovered mass effect relays. As it turns out, the Charon moon was encased in ice, and somehow we broke it open. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but, but it broke open, and we realized it was actually a mass effect relay. Whoa, you know. Pluto's orbit was circularized, circularized as a side effect of the Charon Mass Effect Relay Mass Relay Recovery Operations. Right, Pluto, you were a good one. Is there anything? No, nothing. Just unfortunately, there's nothing to scan for in the local cluster. Aiden and Rex. It's nice having three biotics and we have like three different pushes and like t at least two different lifts, I think. Maybe three. Anyway, as we get to the moon, before we do anything exciting, I swear in the original one you could actually leave tracks. I'm a little upset because I feel like I got really excited that I could leave space tracks on the moon. Anyway, before we do anything exciting in the moon, like look at like look at the Earth or anything like that, I'm gonna call this one here and we'll just have to do the cool moon mission in the next one. But once again, it is that time to say thank you to my patrons. Uh, first and foremost, we have Scalamunger. Thank you so much for being a sapling patron. I super duper appreciate it. Next, we have Reese Kalito, who is also a sapling patron. Patron, thank you so, so much. I legitimately am just super stoked. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and then an extra special thank you to Christopher, who is a tree uh, patron. And I just had a momentary freaking panic attack that I was naming it wrong that it wasn't the tree i think it's the tree now i'm gonna panic and think it's not anyway <laughs> from sapling to tree thank you so much uh christopher for doing the tree patron thing i appreciate it a lot <laughs> um anyway as uh for the rest of you who had to listen to me bumble around through that i appreciate you as well and thank you all so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one